What do you see as the biggest challenges in, in conservation? Yeah, the, the growing human population. Because if where we are, there's nothing else. And do you have views about what should be done about that? Not a guess. Uh, well, it could be on a on a spectrum from mass sterilisation to no, no, uh, no. to to uh, you know greater availability of contraception. I don't know. I don't know what your views are as to what can be done about it. Well, I think I think uh, it might be described as voluntary family limitation. This little boy is called Philip. His full name is Philip Schleswig Holstein Sonderberg Glucksberg, and he grew up in Germany. He was raised amongst his Nazi in-laws, some of whom later became high-ranking members of the SS. His Nazi relatives then sent him to this school in southern Germany, where he studied for a while under the Nazi curriculum. Philip later recalled that there was much heel-clicking and shouts of Heil Hitler were compulsory. And here's Philip in Darmstadt, in the heart of Germany, in November 1937, attending a family funeral for some of his Nazi in-laws. Marching in front of a Siegheiling crowd, this is Philip, next to Christoph, his SS brother-in-law, and Philip, his Nazi stormtrooper brother-in-law. Imagine if a man with a past like this had somehow ended up marrying into British aristocracy. Well, he did. And as we know, he got first prize. He became the Duke of Edinburgh, also known as Prince Philip, after marrying Princess Elizabeth, the future Queen of England.